Joining me now is the spokesman for Whitefish Energy, Ken Luce. Ken, let's start with the Whitefish Energy contract, obviously, down in Puerto Rico. How'd you guys get it? Hi, Stephanie. Good morning. Um, this is, is really a very simple uh, effort by an entrepreneur to get on the plane, fly to Puerto Rico, talk to PREPA when no one else would, he has Andy and Whitefish have experience in mountainous regions. They wanted to do business in Puerto Rico, and they got there. But it's sir, nothing simple. Yeah, go ahead, Stephanie. We keep hearing there weren't other bids. We know that the American Association of Public Utilities (AAPU) also was interested in the contract, and they also had no strings attached and weren't asking for anything up front. Well, I can't speak for Prepa. And whether they talk to AA, I mean, that's, that's up to PREPA. What I do know is that we're there doing work today with 325 people on the island, and the Army Corps and others and their contractors are not there yet. But you said you went down there when no one else did, and you had experience in mountainous regions. So did yes. other organizations go down there and want to get the contract. So you weren't the only ones who did. But it's strange Stephanie, to the average eye to say, how does this teeny tiny company in Whitefish, Montana, hometown of Ryan Zinke, get the contract? And sure. Florida Power and, and, and Light again, doesn't. Sure. Look, I mean, in the conspiracy theories, I, I get people's questions. They're very legitimate. First off, they flew to Puerto Rico on September 26th. PREPA has said publicly there was only one other firm interested in bidding. The other firms have been interested only when the U.S. government was on the island and securing the debt, which is much later. This process has led to other contractors and others not being on the island yet, and the decision by PREPA to let the contract with Whitefish has led to work being done on the island. Sir, good faith questions are not necessarily conspiracy theories, especially when we're talking about large sums of money like $300 million. This $300 well, million, hold on, sir. This $300 no. million dollar contract, how much yes. bigger is it, or the size of this contract? Can you compare it to your next largest project that Whitefish has done? Uh, the, Andy, Andy has worked on contracts and managed contracts between 250, 200 and 250 million dollars. So this you would buy be the largest. Company for the, no, Stephanie, you buy, you buy experience. That is why Whitefish is there and Whitefish is getting work done. That's so, all I'm saying. So, so, but this would be the, so you said you've done 200 to 250 million dollar projects, not in Puerto Rico, and you're saying this would be the biggest deal you've ever done? No, I am, your, your question was the experience of contracts that size. Andy has led contracts of that size, so the question of can you handle a contract of that size, the answer is yes, based on experience. Do we work in mountainous regions? Yes. And after that, the question should be, how does a small firm ramp up? It's very common in the industry, in all industries, to hire and to ramp up. We have 325 people on the island, so there is, should be no consideration as to the work getting done. There's not, uh, my question have, isn't do Stephanie, you have enough people there now? The question sure. is, how did you get the contract? Not to say that you don't have experience, but so does Florida Power and Light. So does the agency in the Dominican Republic. So the questions are around, how does a company with not a connection to Puerto Rico, when there were other potential bids out there, those opportunities weren't taken? Well, Stephanie, they, they had talked to PREPA and the others and the others on the island between Irma and Harvey. So the capabilities were well known. The inference is there, there's something going on here other than an entrepreneur at a small company got off his butt, went to Puerto Rico when others would not, and those other companies did not reach out to PREPA, is my understanding. And even if they did, the money was an issue working with PREPA. The other company that was interested, it has been stated publicly, wanted 10 to 15 times then more we're going to the agree money to we had as a deposit. Because the American Association of, Pu of Public Utilities did not have strings attached and did not ask for money up front. I did want to ask Elias Sanchez, the campaign manager for the governor of Puerto Rico, does Elias have any ties to your company? No. 
All right, fair. And the contract that was leaked that we saw yesterday has two things in it. Whitefish contract states, in no event shall government bodies have the right to audit or review the cost and profit elements. Why would that make sense, knowing how difficult these situations are, knowing that even Puerto Rico, if you go back to 1998, there's been misuse of funds, there's been corruption. Why enter into a contract that's not offering complete transparency at a desperate time? Stephanie, is, the contract was done in good faith with PREPA and the procurement people at PREPA. The contract speaks for itself as the ability to get the work done. Well, in it, it says the contract also has that it waives any claim against the contractor related to delayed completion of work. So I'm saying, well, if this is about a good faith contract, sure. if this is about saving the people of Puerto Rico, doing it in a timely and cost efficient basis, why have this kind of language in the contract? Well, Whitefish in this particular case with the contract, and again, knowing the island, our job is not the complete grid. Our job is only 100 miles of transmission line. We can't be responsible for what the others might do. That's very simple. Well, why, then, then the only thing, I guess it's not simple to me, why would you need to have in there that there's no right to audit or review the cost and profit elements? Why shouldn't we be able Step to do that? Stephanie, that, that's in many contracts. Okay, well, I'm not a lawyer. I'm asking you, why wouldn't well, we be able to I, do that? <laughs> why wouldn't we? When I have a contractor come to my house, I sure as hell want the ability to walk through Stephanie, exactly whoa. what the profit margin should be. S Stephanie, th those were all negotiated. The rates are all there. The contract was given out. There is, there is nothing there. You're, you're again, Everyone wants to see that there's a conspiracy no, theory sir, or some theory. No, I'm not saying there is a yes, conspiracy Stephanie, theory. What I'm saying, listen, I think they absolutely signed the contract. I absolutely believe that they signed it in good faith with you. And my question is, why? Why sign a contract that would have this kind of language in there? How does that serve the people of Puerto Rico and the American people? Well, the. The citizens of Puerto Rico are being served right now by us working on the island when no one else is. The, the point here is we're getting work done and others aren't even there because contracts aren't being let. The others aren't that's there. The, that's what's the, going uh, on. The others aren't there because Whitefish won the contract. And if I was Stephanie, a citizen. No, of Stephanie, that's not accurate. There are other contracts and other contracts being let by government agencies to come to the island. Those took over four or five weeks. That is why more work is not being done on the island. The facts are the others are not there yet because the contracts were slow by the Corps of Engineers in getting done. That's a fact. Well, we sincerely appreciate that those 300 people are there working to get the electrical grid back up and running. And for those who do have questions, there's an audit going on, so that will help put their minds at And rest. we welcome that audit. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.